Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. I hope you had a good weekend ladies and gentlemen and thank you very much to those who joined in on yesterday's impromptu live stream. Rough weekend for me, boy, I'll tell you what, I was pretty sick last night, but that was my one sickness of the year. I usually get sick once every year or every other year. I got a bit of a cold that, that I got from Jerry over at Alaska Rare Coins. So Jerry, shame on you for giving me a cold. <laughs> But ladies and gentlemen, I took about four or five immune boosts yesterday, like one every four hours, and I am feeling much better today and ready to go. So remember how I've been telling you, inflation has nowhere to go but up. And I hate calling it inflation. Well, inflation is when the amount of money in the economy rises, when money is added to the economy, uh, fiat currency. Right. Uh, but most people know inflation as what its main symptom is, which is the price of things going up. And here we're going to get another round of price hikes on canned goods, not because the number of dollars in the economy, but because of what I like to call mini sanctions. You know, like when you sanction a country is sanctioning a country as a whole, but a mini sanction, in my in my opinion, is like a tariff. A tariff is a mini sanction and tariffs ladies and gentlemen are no good in my opinion for you or me they're only a political tool used from one government toward another so get ready to pay a lot more for your canned goods because of new tariffs on metal please expect the price of canned goods all canned goods to rise due to New tariffs on can making metal imported from China, Germany, and Canada. A move that food companies say could lead to higher prices for some canned goods. And here they say that the Consumer Brands Association, a trade group representing companies such as Campbell Foods and Fresh Del Monte Produce, estimated that new tariffs, if applied aggressively, could rise the price of canned foods by up to 30%. You all remember, those of you that are near my age or around my age half centurions you'll remember when you can get a can of campbell's soup for like a dime you remember that i know it was a very long time ago right a very long time ago but my question would be this why is it now over a dollar and in some cases i see them over two dollars right for a single small can a number one can not even a number 10 can or a number four can but the number one cans the little cans why is it that they are so much more expensive ask yourself that is it because the soup and the product within the can is so much better today than it was 30 or 40 years ago i would say the opposite I would say that the product inside of the can is probably not as good or of less quality than what it was 30 years ago or 40 years ago. So what has changed? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's very easy. What's changed is the value of the dollars that you are using in order to purchase those cans of Campbell soup. Now going from a dime per can 20, 30, 40 years ago, now they're way over a dollar a can. And in some places, depending on where you live, now they're over $2 per can. But this chart here is showing that the average is, I think, like a buck 26 or something like that, or a buck 23. Uh, but just look where it was about two years ago. It was down around the 90 cent area. That doesn't sound like a lot. Oh, AP, you're, you're fretting over a 35 cent rise in the cost. Yes, 35 cents on 90 cents which was the original cost of the product a couple of years back that's more than a 33 percent more than a 40 percent increase in price ladies and gentlemen now why is it that these tariffs are being applied to these countries as far as the metal that they're importing to us to make cans number one ladies and gentlemen think about this do you think that if these countries stopped importing metal to us to make cans do you think that we're going to have steel companies here in the u.s pop up left and right boom 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 not with this administration so what other choice do we have this is one of the consequences that we have to pay for when we get rid of manufacturing here in the united states but i digress assume for a minute that china germany and canada are dumping soup cans in the u.s 
what is the correct response? Well, we can complain about it, we can increase tariffs on it, or we can cheer. Which one do, you, which one do you think is the correct response? And to many of you, you're going to be like, oh, I don't know, this is, doesn't sound right. But listen, just listen for a minute. The answer, of course, is number three, cheer. Why? Because the consumer, due to competition amongst other countries that are sending us their metal because we're not making enough of our own, we are getting the best deal. The consumer is getting the best deal because they're still getting their canned soups at a good price because they're able to import that metal that their own country cannot produce for itself. If China, Germany, and Canada are indeed dumping steel below cost, then the nations are giving U.S. consumers a break at their expense. Moreover, I assure you, not a single job will return to the U.S., and that is the key. All right. Some may get triggered by this saying, well, they're dumping at below cost to keep our industry from starting up. No, ladies and gentlemen, our administration, this government, ladies and gentlemen, is against manufacturing, wants to close down manufacturing. Have you not seen that for the last several years? So even if they are dumping it to us at below cost, it's not to get rid of competition. What competition? There is none. And here they say the same thing. U.S. steel corporations are not about to go on a hiring spree to produce more soup cans. The only thing that will happen is that the cost of all canned goods will rise. Get your canned goods now, ladies and gentlemen. Get them now. Solar panels, let's talk about. The same applies to solar panels, but even more so, solar panels are one aspect of clean energy that actually makes sense at the right price. And I have to agree. I don't agree that we should change and cross over our energy sector to solar panels and wind alone. No, we need to have them complement each other. But let's read on. But the U.S. has stiff tariff making sure the price is not right instead of doing something for the environment solar panels are just too expensive and i would have to say that the average person out there even or average homeowner let's say even with the subsidies that the government gives out to people that want to install solar panels on their home still can't afford it if instead we allowed cheap panels from wherever, we would create thousands of jobs installing them, trucking them, wiring homes for them, and putting in the needed battery systems. And I mean, please put in the comments if you disagree with any of this, because in my opinion, this would create jobs. You know, we have put ourselves in a predicament where we don't have the manufacturing, but we really want things to be made in America, right? Which is okay. I want things to be made in America, but we refuse to start manufacturing in America, and at the same time, we condemn those that purchase things that are not made in America. Think about that, ladies and gentlemen. It's got to be one way or the other. All of that economic activity does not take place in the U.S. because of tariffs, and tariffs, like I said, are like little mini sanctions. And the bottom line, ladies and gentlemen, is more inflation or more inflationary prices going up on the things that you use, eat, every day so continue to prepare continue to get your things now because if you're waiting for there to be a bottom a reverse and then there be a bottom on the price of food that's not going to happen and food is something that we all need food is something that you can stock up you know that won't go bad especially if it's a canned item it won't go bad for a very long time and you can have it there for times of crises if you hear that buzzing in the background, I apologize, it just started. I'm testing out a solar generator that I'm going to be reviewing later on this week. I think Friday is going to be that review. But I do have a solar generator review before this one right here uh, that's going to be coming out, I think, sometime today. So be on the lookout for that one if I haven't posted it already. So have a great day. I hope that you're all having a good start to your week, ladies and gentlemen. Again, thank you very much to all of you who joined in on yesterday's live stream. It was a lot of fun. God bless every one of you. God bless America. I'm Alaska Prepper. I'm out.